Alright everybody, it's your boy Kel Carcino here from Boxing Socialist. We got the one and only Samar J. Thomas, who's really holding Chicago down for us right now. I mean, if last week, if you didn't see the video, go on the go on the website, click Samar J. Thomas in there, and the video gonna pop right up if you wanna see his fight from last week. Yeah, I mean, you wanna say world star? <laughs> say world star. I didn't get my coat off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get my coat off. That's real talk. I didn't even get my coat off. And my man, the fight was over in like 30, 40 seconds. I don't even think, did he hit you? <laughs> no, I ain't getting no one time. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many fighters, how many fighters can say, even in the easiest fight they've ever had in their life, the other guy never got a chance to hit him? You got a free paycheck. I was swinging, but I was Yep, and now you done just turned 21 too, man. So what does it feel like? Now you're a grown man. You're a legally grown man. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good, you know? <laughs> you know, it feels good to, to, to celebrate your 21st birthday with your family, you know, and, 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 and get a big win in front of your, your, your hometown, in front of your fans, and, you know, to, to, to remain undefeated and continue to keep going down the road of chasing my dream to become a world champion. Right, I hear that. Is there anything um, like coming up since that fight was so quick? Cause I know you still in shape. So is there any like <laughs> is there like another fight that that can come up like right away that you can take in like a next couple of weeks? Um yeah, um we gotta uh I gotta call actually the next day. Uh, I'm gonna be fighting Jason Hayes in Las Vegas. In Canada, <laughs> yeah, you just keep it going, man. Just keep because you holding the city down, man. Because you gonna be the first one out of the city to to accomplish all these goals we all we always wanted. Somebody from the city to come up and put us on the map, and then you gonna open the door for everybody else. That's the way it's gonna work. But uh, with you, like you work at, I mean, you trained at the Plex Gym with Ronnie Shields, like. What type of fighters like you work with, like the Charlos, like you know? Can you tell us about like they styles compared to yours and how the, the work ethic is there? Uh, the, the the styles are different, you know. Oh, okay. um, you know, my, my style is, uh, is a lot different from a lot, a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of people's styles, you know. And um, you know, they they got my nice styles as far as fighting. They're real strong. They're real talented. And um. You know, we work tremendously hard. Everybody push each other. You know, push each other to the limit. It's, it's all competition inside the ring and out. You know, if I see a fighter trying to outdo me or outbeat me in, in a race or 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 in, in a strict condition uh, training, you know, I, I gotta push myself to the limit. I gotta make sure that I'm doing what I have to to, to be in uh, shape. Cause my opponent could be doing the same thing he's doing. And, uh, harder than him, so I gotta make sure I gotta, I gotta go harder. Yeah, that's what's up. Cause uh, I saw you, man. Yo, you in shape, man. You was, <laughs> you. I didn't see an ounce of fat on you. I don't think you even had one percent body fat. <laughs> so yeah, yeah I, so I, I man. Shape, you know, I, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's that training camp. Training camp was the best training camp I ever had in my life. You know, I I, I, I really I didn't even have to. I, I got up early in the morning. I didn't have to train. I ate. I went back to the room, slept, chilled with my with my with my with my with my team. You know, and I uh, you know, and I uh, I went to the to the weigh in and, and weighed in. Got something to eat. You know, I, I still was under. Still was under uh, the, the fight limit. So, you know, it's a blessing. We're going to continue to keep grinding like how, how I've been grinding. You know, the sky's the limit. I hear that. 
Now, Al Heyman is signing everybody. I mean, anybody, everybody that's walking. I think he gonna have his. He gonna own boxing in a minute. <laughs> but all them, the majority of the people he's signing though are welterweights. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, man, y'all gonna have one gigantic big tournament? <laughs> or like, y'all gonna run out of pretty soon? Y'all gonna have to fight each other? Like, has that ran across your mind? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of crossed my mind, you know, but uh, to be the best, you gotta, you gotta beat the best, you know, and um, be signing the best fighters, you know, you, you have to, you have to be on a, uh, on a, 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 on a big level to, to sign a contract with, uh, 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 uh Al Hayden and a Golden Boy, you know, you gotta be on a, on a big level. Yeah, I hear that. You know, it, 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 you know it, and, and if, if every everybody if, if, if we all fight each other, if we all fight each other, that it, 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 it all benefits everybody. You know, it benefits the fighters, it benefits Al Hanson, it benefits the, the, the promoters. So you know, we all a big family, and we all we all we all just uh, chasing the dream. We all got that goal of becoming becoming a world champion, and whoever's a world champion, they have that goal of of, 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 of keeping it. All right. Well, we finna let some of the fans here on Boxing Socialist give you some questions. They already gave me like a couple of them to ask you. One guy here, he wants to know. He wants to know, have you ever sparred against Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> oh, I get that. I get that question a lot. Uh, no, me and Max, well, actually, we never, we never sparred each other, but we trained together. We, we ran together. You know, and we. we we hang out, we hung out together, and um, you know, Floyd's like a big brother, you know, and uh, he, he, he gave me a lot of knowledge, he gave me a lot of, a, a lot of wisdom, and you know, I, 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 I love the money team, they like family, they like family, and Floyd is like family, and, and um, you know, we, we just ready, we just ready, we just, we just, we, we all, we all, we all want to be at the dinner table and just celebrating our, and, 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 and and just, just all dreams are accomplished, you know. And I'm trying. I want. I want to be. I want to be on that level. That's what I'm. That's what I'm chasing. So he helped me. He helped me. He helped me. He helped me with a, with a lot. So I, I really thank you for it. But we never. We never spar with each other. So I don't think we never will. Okay. And this other question they got down here. They said, uh, "What what weight you gonna fight at? Junior middleweight? I mean, junior welterweight or welterweight?" Um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be a shark in 140 to 147, and and in the long run, you know, if my uh, when I get a little older, and when I can't make 140, 147, we'll be at 154. So, uh, you know, who knows what the what the uh, what the what the what the future holds? But right now, uh, I'm fighting at 140. So I'll be at light water weight. And um, chasing the world championship there, and then move up from there. Okay. Then they were saying, uh, "Well, how do you see the Mayweather Madonna fight going?" <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, you know, uh, the, the Madonna, Madonna camp, they they doing pretty decent. They they kind of they kind of been working, you know. And um, but I know Floyd's been working hard. I know Floyd, and I know how he. I've, I've seen him how he's uh, how he's trained, how he how 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 uh, how how he trains, and how he gets so focused. And Floyd will be so dominant this fight. Floyd will not. Floyd will probably get a knockout this fight. I guarantee. I can. I can guarantee you, Madonna will not be Floyd Mayweather. I bet you Floyd Floyd Mayweather will be. What is it? Forty six and out. Yeah, he'll be he'll be forty six if he wins. Forty six and up. He will be forty six <laughs> and up. And that's a lot. He will be he will be one uh, forty six and up. Close to uh is that uh that's close to um that's close to Rocky Marciano. Uh yeah, but to me I'm like, well Chavez well well, Chavez ended up losing, but he, Chavez is like almost 80-something, 90-something and old. 
Chavez? Yeah, before he lost his first fight, he was like 89 and 0 before he <laughs> lost. So I, was, I don't know why they even count that record. I guess because he retired undefeated. But, you know, I, I, I guess that's why they count it. But to me, 89 and 0, that's, that's just incredible. Yeah. That's just really incredible. But, uh, yeah, so that's that's the questions they had down on the paper. The other guy wanted to know what was your glove size. He was like, what kind of gloves he wear? Well, we, we wear, uh, whoever, whoever, whether, uh, seemed like eight ounce because I mean as soon as you touched him he like it flew. So, it was so small. <laughs> <laughs> it was small. I felt my fist through the I was like, whoa. <laughs> Coach, Coach Ronnie Coach Ronnie tied, tied my uh my hands up so tight. Uh wrapped my hands up so I'm nice man. And I mean it was it was hard for me to Tell everybody where they can find you on social media. <laughs> you can find me at Samaje Thomas, Samaje underscore Thomas one on Instagram. You can find me at Samaje Thomas on Twitter, Samaje Thomas on Facebook, and that's Samaje as S E M A J A Y T H O M A S. I want to say uh, shout out to everybody, all my fans, all my followers. Boxing socials, we 